this is the look that I filmed today and so if you want to see how I achieved this look then please keep watching. Okay so first of all I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I'm going to apply my MAC Paint Pot in Quite Natural. Then I'm going to use my, I think I got this from Crown Brush at Last IMAX, it's like a large shader brush. And I'm going to be using my MUA um, palette in Glamour Nights. I'm going to be taking this dark brown here, it's like a minky brown with uh, silver flecks. just going to place that all over the lid. Then I'm going to take my Lauren Luke blending brush and I'm just going to... Bend that upwards slightly. You don't have to worry about this too much because there is going to be another shadow going on top of that one. Okay, then using the same um, large shader brush, I'm going to go in to the gold in that same Glamour Nights palette, which is this one here. And I'm just going to pop that on the center of my lid. Take that same blending brush and I'm just going to loosely rub that and blend that in across the lid very, very lightly. So you can still really see that um, gold in the centre. Now that I've done that, I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, liner in the colour Zero. And this doesn't have to be too neat either because this is going to be blended out. I just said it didn't have to be too neat and I'm there like <laughs> perfecting it. Such a geek. I don't know what it's called. It's the 755 from um, Bedellium Tools. It's like a small shader brush. And I'm just going to go back into that MUA palette and I'm going to take this dark blue here. So I'm just going to get that on the brush. And I'm just going to use that to blend out that black. So I'm just going to place the colour on the black first of all. And then I'm just going to blend that colour out. And upward. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm going to go back with that um, Lauren Luke blending brush and I'm just going to blend that across the lid again. I'm going to go in with the blending brush back into that blue and pick up some of that colour and blend it into the outer corner and then sweep it in through the crease. So I'm concentrating the colour mainly on the outer portion of the eye. And then I'm just going to get a clean blending brush and I'm using the 785 from Bedellium as well. And I'm just going to further blend up just so it's not too dark. I'm going to go back with the 755 from Bedellium and I'm just going to, just so it doesn't look too much like a harsh line. Okay, now that I've got that first layer on, I am just going to take the same um, Urban Decay Zero pencil and I'm just going to run that lightly underneath my bottom lash line. Just on outer third. Because this um, is quite creamy so you can smudge it across quite easily and I'm just going to pick up some more of that navy blue from the MUA palette and I've got it on both sides of the brush and I'm just going to smoke that out and join them up at the outer corner. Okay so for my foundation first of all I'm going to start off by applying um, some milk of magnesia to my face because I have quite oily skin so I just like to put this um, all over my face concentrating it mainly in the t-zone kind of area but I put it on all over basically but if I'm wearing an especially creamy foundation or one that I know is quite oily, I will um, put on an additional, like a second layer in my T-zone. But usually this will 
stop me from going or well, turning into a grease ball basically. Foundations that I'm going to be using today are by Sleek and it's their um, blemish balms. Now I combine the dark and the medium colour so I'm just going to get squirt just one, one pump of the dark and one of the medium onto the back of my hand and then I'm just going to mix it up and put that all over my face. Just make sure that's nicely blended in. Okay, so I like to go for the highlighted look underneath my eyes. So I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW40. I'm sure you've seen this before. Just pat that in with my finger. Okay, and to set the concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my Kors Wild Rose Compact in WRP6 or 9 WRP6. This is several shades lighter than my complexion, but it really sets this concealer and adds to that highlighted effect that I like. So I just Press that underneath my eyes. Especially around my nose, that's where I usually go oily. And I'm I'm not too <laughs> I'm not overly neat with this either. Because I will be blending it out with a face brush. Set the rest of my face with First of all, my Vichy Demi Blend. Now this is white. I'm sure you've seen this. I think Destiny Godly uses this one. Um, there's the name of it. But it's a really good setting powder. It is white, but I think it's called like a, yeah, it is called setting powder. But I push this in around my nose Never mind the fact that it's white because I will be putting another powder over it and I push it just where I would normally get oily. Like that. And then I use my Illamasqua loose powder in 235. looks like that. I've got another powder puff and I'm just going to lightly dab this and push this into my skin as well. And I use this one mainly for the colour to counteract the white in the, the Vichy Derma Blend. And I don't put on too much of that because I don't think it's necessary. So then the next thing I do is I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown face brush and then I'm just going to blend that all in. And for blush today I'm going to be using the LA Colors Mineral Blush in Very Berry. And it looks like this. It's a really nice pretty kind of pinky. Oh I just poked it. Pinky kind of wine colour. I don't want to get too much of this because it is quite a strong colour. Not quite a strong colour, it's quite pigmented so you can get, sometimes you can get too much on your brush and you get a nasty shock. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use my Inglot fan brush and I'm going to use the Illamasqua powder is that one of their powdered metal yeah it's one of their powdered metals in azul okay and it looks like this you can't really see in camera but it's like a kind of a minky color 
but it's just so so pretty and this is another one that you can get too much of but I'm big on highlighting hopefully you can see I don't know if you can You Saint Laurent Top Secret um, Replumping Concentrate. So I've already got that all over my lips. It is a white formulation, which is why my lips kind of look a bit kind of, I don't know, ashy. Then I'm going to use the Revlon Lip Butter in Sweet Tart. And that's just like a nice, really pale pink. Because the eyes are so strong, I don't want to, I don't want to be wearing a strong lip as well okay so that is the finished look guys um i hope that you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you next time take care guys bye